Good morning! It is Saturday, October 31st, and I am your host, CK, wishing you a happy, happy Halloween. This is your national holidays, but before we get into it, let's talk a little bit about Halloween, and I hope you're excited. I know that it's not probably the ideal of how you wanted to celebrate, but at a minimum, I hope you can at least help make this a special special time for the kids that are going to go out and do some trick-or-treating and I am hoping I get trick-or-treaters. I've got candy. I did a pumpkin carving last night. I got one more I got to do this morning and I've got my candy shoot ready to go. I've got two three-foot tables I can put end to end to give me that six feet. So I'm doing what I can to hopefully give the parents that warm and fuzzy that I've done what I need to do to keep their kids safe. And I'm just really hoping that we do have some kids that come through. And speaking of which, normally I would go live at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But because I'm taking into consideration folks that are hopefully going to be doing some trick-or-treating of some sort, I'm actually going to go earlier today. I'll probably go around um, probably 1 or 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So uh, just just be on the lookout for when I post the uh the schedule because I quite haven't scheduled yet just because I got to see what I've got to do in the morning. I do have some errands I need to run so it really depends on that but I'm kind of shooting for like 1 to 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and with that let's get started. So today is Saturday, October 31st. What do we have in the calendar today? Well, we have Halloween. We just talked a little bit about that. We also have National Caramel Apple Day and National Unity Day, or otherwise known as Russia Tria Ektra Dialas, which is a Indi- Indian Hindu uh, Indian um, India celebration. So let's get on to Halloween. Now, a lot of us probably know a little bit about Halloween. Some of us may not. I don't know. But here it was. Ninth century, Christianity actually started to merge with the Celtic traditions. And really, the, it was the Celtics that actually had more of the Hollow Eve, um, Day of the Dead kind of thing going on. And they kind of didn't, because the Celtics celebrate their new year on the first. And the Christians decided to specifically more Catholic Christians, decided to do a celebration of All Saints or All Souls Day on the 31st, which is um, the day before the Celtic uh, celebration. And then in the 16th century, guising, which was basically the old, old version of trick-or-treating, and they pretty much did something very similar. They would knock on the doors to the homes. They would either perform a trick or a joke to get a gift or get candy. And then in the late 1800s, you know, as America kind of starts understanding this whole Halloween thing, because it has ties to ghosts and goblins and all that stuff, they decided, the Americans decided, they kind of needed to town place some of that kind of stuff and make it not so scary for the kiddos. So they actually asked the community and the adults to kind of refrain from anything scary. Which is kind of weird, because that clearly didn't stick. Because if you look at how Halloween's celebrated now, it is very, very scary. Especially in the whole month of October. I am not a fan of horror movies or anything like that and October is like the worst because like all the TV stations love to play those old type horror movies um, that have been out for a while and those that I you know when I was a kid definitely did not want to watch like Jason and Halloween and Texas Texas Chainsaw Massacre, all those things. None of that. No thank you. Not for me. And I can't stand Halloween because then you get all the previews for the movies that are coming out that are all like gory. Uh, Anyways, clearly the whole don't scare the kids thing did not last because if you look at where we're at today, it's crazy. And here's another one. So 1920 then, then that's when we actually in the United States started using trick-or-treating uh, as opposed to apparently guising. So that's kind of cool. I kind of didn't realize that um, it actually doesn't seem that old. Actually, technically, it's 100 years old now. 
It's 100 years old. The whole idea of trick-or-treating is now officially 100 years old. So that's kind of cool. And that is it for Halloween. Now, Next, we have National Caramel Apple Day. So, some interesting things about caramel apples. So, 1950s, we can thank Dan Walker, who was a Kraft Foods employee, who invented the caramel apple. And the reason why he invented it is because he has all this extra caramel lying around, and he's trying to figure out what to do with it. And then, lo and behold, he had some apples, and ta-da! caramel apple. And then in the 1970s, Kraft Food introduces wrappables, which are basically small slices of caramel that would be wrapped around the apples, which I thought was really, really cool. And I have no idea if this is even still a thing or if people just already, I guess maybe just people buy pre-bought um, caramel apples now. I don't know. But yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. So that was neat. And then 2005, not so much a caramel apple thing, but still kind of want to touch on it because it's the world's, course, according to Guinness World uh, Book of Records, this apple uh, that was grown by Japanese um, a grower, uh, Chastu Iwasaki, he holds the record for the heaviest apple that came in at four pounds, one ounce, but sadly he had a missed opportunity because he did not dip it in caramel. Mm, sad piece. Mm. But yeah, so I thought that was kind of cool. Maybe not. I don't know. And then finally, National Unity Day. This is a holiday celebrated in India. This is to celebrate what they call Iron Man, who is Sadar Patel, which uh, his birthday is October 31st. He was born in 1875. He is the founding father of the Republic of India. In 2014, uh, Rashtriya Ektwa Diwas, also known as National Unity Day, was established. And then in 2018, they erected a 597-foot statue of Sadar Patel, uh, unifier of India. And it is the world's tallest statue, and it's located in Gujarat, India. And in 2019, I kind of found this one funny. In 2019, thousands of people participated in almost a one mile run in honor of Sadar Patel's 144th birthday anniversary. The almost 100 mile run cracked me up because uh, I'm assuming that like it's a kilometer, maybe? Maybe they, that's what they, I don't know. Like, I just found this funny when they're like a almost one mile run. But you know what? Hey, I guess the, the more you can get people to participate, this would definitely be it. That's that's definitely would work to get people to participate in a run. So, yeah. And, uh, you know, he actually never really wanted to run for office. He didn't want to really do that. But it wasn't until a meeting with um, Gandhi that he kind of really kind of got pushed into um this whole idea of unity and helping the poor, helping uh, those communities that maybe didn't have as much. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, it just shows that's the influence that people can have on other people. And it was because of Gandhi and his conversation they had with Sadar Patel that led him on the path that he ended up on. So that's pretty cool. And with that... That's all of the national holidays for today. Again, I'm your host, CK. If you are enjoying these videos, please let me know. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. That way you don't miss anything else. I know, right? And don't forget, I will go live today. Uh, probably between 1 and 2 p.m., somewhere around there. And I will schedule it so you can see it. And it really just depends on how my schedule works out this morning. But I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I hope you have a great Halloween. If you can't catch me live, don't worry. You can always catch the replay. And yeah, just have a great Halloween. Be safe, everybody. And I will talk to everyone later. Actually, I'll talk hopefully on my live. But if not, then I'll see you all again on Sunday, 1 November, for another round of National Holidays. 
Peace out.